Morning guys. Hey, um, I wanted to share this with you. This was like a partial, partial dream, waking up, um, uh, and then prayer, um, this morning, like five something. Lord spoke to me in this dream. And then as I was waking up too, he said, go, go to Isaiah 39, five through eight. Okay, God, I'm, you know, I'm obedient, I'm, I'm kind of waking up, I'm like, okay, I, you know, when I get up, I'm going to go in there and look it up, and, but I always ask him, I say, what do you want me to do first, God, do you want me to pray about it, do you want me to go look up the scripture, do you want me to go to the Facebook, the YouTube, the whatever, you know, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty adamant about his direction, but I, I you know, I had part of it, and that was go to that scripture, he said, Put out a message, hiding in plain sight. I already had this from a lo while back. Actually, it's going to be part of a book that's coming out soon. <laughs> Long story. But when you read it, but read all of Isaiah 39. It's about things getting taken, guys, away from us. That's the hiding in plain sight. There's always good news of the gospel, though, guys. God's not bipolar. He just hates sin. Because it keeps you from entering in. You're not coming in with sin. Of course, we're all going to have some. And the blood of the Lamb and the grace is sufficient. What I'm saying is the blatant knowing that it is. Because then it becomes a heart and it separates you from the love of Christ. But read, this was a couple days ago, but read Isaiah 12 and 3. With joy. You're going to draw from the waters of salvation. The living water, guys. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Psalms 114. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Guys, there's good news in the gospel. I, you know, we all got our baggage and stuff. You know, I've heard this all the time. If you're not going to say something good and blessed and, you know, don't say it and da 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 da. It's all good. But I'm just a vessel, guys, and I'm a watchman, and he's telling me the warning signs are out there. And just look around, guys, okay? Put it out there. The, the mark of the beast or the mask of the beast. Why did I put that out there, guys? Because you know what? Kimo Sabi, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not hiding the gospel. I went to a store and some guy was like, where's your mask? Where's your mask? Well, I just happen to have a shirt on, which is one of my favorite shirts. Billboard shirt, kind of to me, but it, all it says on it is Jesus. I just like the shirt. That's what it said. Well, I was looked down and I said, I'm wearing it. His name is Jesus. The blood of the lamb is sufficient. He just shook his head, wagged his tail, whatever. I don't wear a mask. Why? It's not because of my rights or any of that other stuff. It's because I know it's fake and phony and what's behind it. The enemy's behind it, guys. They're telling you to take the vaccine with the with the virus in it. Where it's, what are we, a science experiment? I'm not a scientist, guys, but no, we're not. The church has been doing it. And the world's doing it. The church has been doing it for, you know, why did it? Where where where'd everybody go when this coronavirus hit? A, a few stood up, very few. Joel's army did, but the big guys, no, you know, they're still busy with the sensationalism, the GMO gospel. Give me all your glory, money, and obedience. Captain Crunch Christianity.
Looks good, smells good, bright yellow, shiny package. You, the, the color, no nutrition, no value, guys. Just have an event and charge people to come in and sing another song, sing louder, or whatever, you know. Nothing didn't have the goods, where'd they go? Or they want the sensationalism out there, bring video camera and somebody, I healed somebody and their foot grew out, you know, three feet. And then the world, the government, has taken off with this. Everywhere you see, there's a dictator, dictator judge here in Dallas, and the mayors, and the, in the cities, and the governors, and crazy stuff. I, it had been hiding in plain sight. And then, the you know, uh, you know, you're going to, I can hear it now. The next thing you say, obey the law of the land, and I'm a Trump hater, and all this other garbage. I'm not trying to do all that, guys. Look at my other messages. I'm, the big one is the 5 a.m. prayer in the morning time. I'm going to get to that in a second. Let me finish where I'm at so I don't get sidetracked. Not you, me. It's me. The government. Put it out there. Two trillion dollar. It's fake money, guys. Thousand dollars, two thousand, whatever it is. How many of y'all make that? Is it? It's wiping out the whole middle class, guys. We're going to be a bunch of poverty stricken robots. It's fake. Phony. False. And we're falling for it because it's hiding in plain sight. Go to any stores, it's like a bunch of mindless robots. But Jesus said, washing in the water of the word, renewing of your mind. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. There's a lot of good news out there, guys. But it's not, you're going to be blessed and have a new car and fly around in a Learjet. Well, Learjets are old, but I'm very blessed, guys. I am going to get to the 5 a.m. prayer because that's very, very important piece to this, of this hiding in plain sight. <clears throat> I'm not hiding anymore, guys. It's time for Joel's army to rise up. Dreams, visions, whatever God's telling you to do, do it. <clears throat> Christmas. Three quarters of our income got wiped out. A couple months later, I'm just, uh, okay, God, you're going to have to be the provision here. <clears throat> and he was. He gave me some specifics. I did certain things. I mean, it was just, okay, God. Well, one night, middle of the night, four in the morning, my wife wakes up. She's a very clean person. Puddle of water. Refrigerator. She put in the refrigerator. Why? Because the freezer popped open because there was so much food in there. Didn't even have an income, guys. God was our provision. I, I've got a hundred testimonies in this, guys. I'm still on the wheel, okay? It's not, and it, nobody sent me a check, nothing, you know, and then somebody sent me a million dollar check and buy everything. It's been, it, what he's been telling me in my early morning prayer and what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. What does this cup say? Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Guys, that's where we're at. It's hiding in plain sight. But the 5 a.m., that's what he's telling me. That I'm really, really going to... Not a soapbox, guys. It's something the Lord told me to tell everybody. Call the nation together in a time of prayer. Five in the morning. So I poke my head out my door and look at my address, 3108, my street. There's maybe different, but where were two or more gathered together in my name. It's time to bear arms, guys. Pick up your Bible. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word source where's your source you don't need to pick up a gun and go to the go to the capital with a gun strapped to your butt 
I'm not saying that they're wrong to do that. What I'm saying is that's not going to win this battle, guys. Prayer is. Seeking him is. We have an advocate with the Father. John 3, 16. All. For God so loved all the world. Where were all these supposed powerful church is our church people hiding in plain sight, running, tucking their tail, following what the whatever the government shoved down our throats, all these dictators. Cow down. Look how quickly it turned, guys. It's like, man, four four weeks ago or six weeks ago or however long ago. You thought any of this was going to come? What's next, guys? There is a storm coming, but it's going to be a decision time, guys. No more riding the fence. No more lukewarm Christianity. No more hogwash. The truth. And you're not going to get it from me or your YouTube or your favorite preacher. You're going to get it at 5 in the morning in your prayer or whenever you pray. You may not be able to. That may not be possible for you or whatever you know if you can anytime you can because it's imperative but it's time to weep between the porch and the altar guys not because we're in trouble we are it's to come against the enemy because it's spiritual wickedness in high places He'd been lying from the beginning of time guys that was the very first lie to adam and eve did god really say that of course he did, if he's telling you that. And we should build up each other with that. But that's why it gives you the spirit of discernment. But that's why I'm also saying baloney to some of this stuff too. That's a nice word, way to put it. I'm not wearing a mask, I'm not hiding in plain sight. I'm not hiding that I'm a son of living God. I, I wasn't always here, guys, okay, I get it. I can't point my finger. At people but I'm a watchman I gotta say sin ain't gonna cut it anymore it took me a while to get here guys okay so I get it I really get the grace piece I, when look at my one of my videos about my testimony is real grace it's an old one but look at it you'll get you'll get where I'm coming from I get the grace piece guys get plenty of grace on me I'll end with this one day was Saul one day is Paul when he's killing Christians, the next day he is one. Don't you think that dude had some baggage? Some sin bag? He was a murderer, guys. He destroyed people's lives. You can't take that back. That's not something you can just... And he was pretty... Thought he was doing God's will. We're not going to get this, guys. Look at most look at most churches. They're big empty edifices now. Oh yeah, they're kind of starting back up because they got a little pile of money and they're gonna redo some of the same garbage. I'm not eating it anymore, guys, and you shouldn't either. Look at most of them, you know. Why this is this one's free. This is a small thing, but it's free. Why is there why is there why is there a raised platform? Why is there a stage? Why are they above everybody? They're not. Read Matthew 20. All the same, guys. Read Matthew 21. The stone that the builders rejected. The words can either fall on you or you're going to fall on the word. Read it. And weep between the porch and the altar. Then read Matthew 22. They took it lightly. Read what happened to the people that took it lightly, guys. Nobody wants to hear that. That's not a blessed message. Probably not, but it's still the word of God. And it's all blessed. His grace is sufficient. He wants us to turn, guys. I said this, follow the timeline, guys. I'm not the only preacher saying this. I'm not saying this to sensationalize it because that's one of my messages. I hate that. Spirit. I see it on, the, on different ministries I've looked at. And it's like, I got I know the secret recipe to KFC chicken and you don't. I'm gonna read your Bible, guys. Second Peter, I think it's two twenty-two. 
It's on one of my messages. No secret interpretation, no secret revelation. We all have an advocate with the Father. We all have to come through Jesus. We all have to go the same way. Me too. Just a different vessel, guys. We all have purposes and reasons in the way that he created us. It's like... It's like... I do need to end this. Um, gas can or a milk jug. Well... I'm not going to pour milk in my lawnmower. I use my milk jug. And I'm not going to drink milk out of my gas can. Neither one of them's going to work, guys. But they're both vessels. They both serve a purpose. I love to drink milk. And I need my lawn cut. So, anyhow... It's not, not hiding in plain sight. Quit hiding in plain sight. Quit. Are we... Are we going to rise and shine and be Joel's army? Are we going to try to be this old, surreal, what, what, you know, normal? Well, normal isn't normal. There wasn't a normal, guys. It was a bunch of hiding in plain sight anyhow. Where was the, suppo where was the supposed church now today? cowing down and doing everything the world does. I'm not, and I'm not any better. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I'm saying I'm getting my stuff at five in the morning, listening to the Lord. What did he tell me to do? Who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. Get back to the Bible, guys. Be about our Father's business. Get a little bit of Holy Ghost backbone. Use the spirit of discernment. I'm not saying don't gather. Pray about who you gather with. One of the guys I reposted on, um, probably a plug for him, David Sellers, my Facebook. Yeah. He's pretty evident about what he's saying. He's not a pushover though, guys. Yes, it's a little bit. Can be. But that's the vessel that God created him to be. But he had a post about Showed all the lion, different lines. It's like, man, make sure you gather with the right people, guys. <clears throat> What's he telling you? So that's why it's, I'm telling you guys that the 5 a.m. prayer is so, so important. Because we're all different. God created us as he needs different vessels, and so he created us differently. So we all have different purposes, but it's all still part of the body of Christ. If it's the body of Christ, time to lay aside all this other stuff. Quit hiding in plain sight. I'm not going to hide in plain sight, guys. No. But I'm not going to sensationalize it either. I'm just doing what the Lord tells me to do out of obedience. Am I am I 100% right now? Not probably 90% though. I'm 95, I'm getting there. I'm working on it, I'm still on the wheel. You know, I still got some blemishes and some spots and some wrinkles and, you know. But I'm going to stay on the wheel till God's done. I'm going to get up at 5 in the morning. That's one of my most favorite things to do now. Jesus, what would you do? You say, God, what would you do? Holy Ghost, what would you do? It's the why, guys. Start asking him. You're not going to get it from the way we've been getting it. Pretty apparent, isn't it? Time to weep between the porch and the altar, guys. What's he telling you to do? Love you guys. But let's get it done. Let's do this right. And let's encourage each other. Try the Spirit to see if it's the Spirit of the Lord. The fruits of the Spirit. And all them by their fruits. Encourage each other. When it's God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. When it's not, maybe run. I don't know. Or say something. I don't know. he telling you it's time to listen guys to what the spirit has to say to the church 
So we love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. Uh, I tried to make this short. It just it, it never happens. I'm sorry. Love you guys. Um, talk to you soon.